In this video, I'm going to be showing you a very good ultraviolet curing adhesive that I purchased online, which may come in very handy for your projects. As you can see, much of the label is in Chinese. If you go to www.kafuter.cn, you'll be able to see everything in English. There's a lot of different adhesives. The one that's here is K300. Now, there's different formulations. This one is designed for bonding glass and crystal, glass to glass, crystal to crystal. If you get K302, that's for glass to metal. If you purchase K303, that's for gluing glass and acrylics and other plastics. And K305 is a strong, non-transparent, impact-resistant adhesive. All the adhesives require UV light, so you could use one like this. UVA, 380 nanometer, or you could place it out in the sun for 15 to 20 minutes. The adhesive will fully cure. I'm going to show you two examples. The first one, you may have a circuit board, like you see here, where the solder mask is missing, exposing the copper to the elements, where it can oxidize. So you definitely want to cover that up. And normally what I would do I would take a pencil eraser over that bare copper in order to clean it up nice, remove the oxidation, and then I would take a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol, wipe it over the surface, and then dry it and let it air dry, and take clear nail polish and apply it to the area. That does work very well, but you also can use this adhesive here. The K300 will work fine on here, but if you're going to be doing a lot of work with the circuit boards, you may want to buy the K302 because that's what it's really designed for is metal and glass. Let me take the pencil eraser and just clean it up a little bit. All right, nice and shiny. Take a Q-tip with rubbing alcohol and take away a lot of the excess. 90% is good stuff, 91, whatever it is. Let that dry a minute. Now I can take a little bit of the adhesive, place it over the top. Doesn't take much, that's all it takes. I can now take the UV light or place it in the sun. For this, I'll just put the UV light directly over it. And after a couple of minutes, you will be good to go. Let's take a peek at it. Okay, I'm outside so you can see this better. Right here is the area that was repaired. Came out very, very good. Right there, you could probably see it. The next thing I want to show you is how you can bond two pieces of glass together. What I'm going to do is clean this side and this side using the rubbing alcohol, position them side by side, put a large amount of the liquid in the center, push down and allow it to squeeze out the edges and then place it in the sun. That side is clean. This side here is clean. I'll face it down. I'm going to lift that one and put it right over it. Let me place this under so whatever glue leaks out. Put a large amount in the center here. Good. And place it right over. No air bubbles are trapped. Push it down. The next step 
You take this and place it in the sun 15 minutes. And the two pieces of glass that were bonded together, you can see right here, crystal clear, no air bubbles. You can take a look at all the edges. Perfectly transparent. I could bring it up to the camera lens and you won't even see any difference. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.